l'Automobile Club questo è un po' il discorso che volevamo fare perché noi siamo molto impegnati a, a, come attenzione, come impegno per vedere questa tecnologia che sta venendo avanti sempre di più. We were convinced that what we wanted to bring to a city it was not only a race. I think the race is the excuse for everything else that we build around it. And that's what really uh, brings value because we created Formula E to help change. But it's the, the role of the, of the city to find solutions with the different government and the, the private sector. No, the 21th century is for me the century of exchange, of experience. And I think with the different mayor of, of the world, we can exchange about mobility because we have all the same problem. We all here have a vision. And today, with events such as Formula E, we can touch this vision because we can show that it's real, that it's possible. Though many citizens still are not very comfortable with it because we are trying to tell to our citizens, just get out of your comfort zone and just go and explore what technology is doing now, changing mind and changing habits. A smart city is a city that's actually fun to be in. So we just have to start somewhere. Each city should look at what they have right now. How do they make it more efficient by using it more effectively and then adding the technology as it makes sense. So one step at a time, what makes sense in your city. If you have all those things, then great, you can jump to automated. But if you don't have any of those things, you have to look at what can you use your streets to make them more efficient right now. Some cities don't even have sidewalks, so like the basic things have to go in first. So you mentioned about the flying car, or in more technical terms, as we call it, eVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. It is not a science fiction, it is a reality. In fact, there are more than 120 startups around the world working on these new uh, types of uh, air vehicles. We don't need to persuade anybody about it. It's us, uh, the people, the citizens, that we have to see what are the benefits we can have from these new type of technologies or mobility systems, frameworks, and uh, we make the choice. If we are not able to include from the start citizen to co-design what could be the smart mobility in their city, we'll have a problem. So, yes, technology is important, but also the societal part, so in other words, citizen voice, but also regulation. So we need also government, cities to regulate what will be the future of mobility. Smart City is a city where citizens can live in the best way, where a standard of life can be increased. And so I think that Smart City is something that we need to build uh, as administration uh, in uh, every city of the world. There's a clear need for more effective and efficient transport infrastructure within cities. And a Smart City is one that's given itself a clear roadmap to achieve this, taking advantage of the innovations that we're seeing in connected technology, automated technology, even electrified technology, to build a smart, safe, sustainable future. Residents within a city want their city to be uh, multimodal. They want to be able to have it be safe and easy to walk, to bike, maybe pollute less. That's what technology should be enabling. And what it shouldn't be is, a, to me, a smart city is not something that begins with the sensor or begins with a particular software solution. It be, what a smart city should do is start with the actual needs of residents and let the technology be built around that. Because some creative startups and some larger companies too have found ways to capture data, put it together in ways that can be interpreted by cities to make better policy choices. Smart city is always associated with, with somehow clean and, and, and sustainable. That's sure one of the parts. But basically it's a, it's a city which works out of our own life like we want to have it. It was a perfect form today for us because it was not only theoretical but it was very practical, it was very hands-on, great audience, great, great speakers. You have so many uh, forums, initiatives, conferences, always talking about what is going to happen in the future, but it's about what is going to happen right now, what can we do right now and how about initiatives could we follow up on.
we use artificial intelligence to know which streets are going to have open on-street parking. Uh, we do this in real time. Uh, we do it for every street in the city, 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, for every single type of on-street parking, regardless of whether it's free, metered, and permit, all with zero hardware. Being on the same platform as Formula E, which is really the revolution in racing with electric cars, it really gives us an opportunity to showcase our product on the global stage um, with the most advanced technologies in the world, because we believe that our technology is also going to revolutionize the world, and being a part of another technology that is in front of an audience and getting exposure is everything a startup could wish for.